Friday, but we'll see. It seems to be able to make up its mind exactly what it's going to do. And forecasting the details is going to be quite difficult in the next day or so. What's happening is we've got an awful lot of cloud around. In southern areas of the country, that cloud is moving from west to east, taking some rain with it across the southeast and into the near continent. But further north, we've got quite a band of fairly stationary-looking cloud at first glance, but there are pulses of rain embedded in that, all of them moving around the main low-pressure area. I say the main low-pressure area because, in fact, there's another small one rotating down around parts of South Wales at the moment, and that could kick off some heavy or even thundery showers through this evening and tonight. The main areas of rain then moving away from the southeast, showery rain across the Midlands and parts of Wales moving southwards through and towards southwest England, and there's another batch of wet weather over southeastern and southern parts of Scotland too. All of these moving around so that overnight, virtually all of southern and southeast Scotland, England and Wales should see some bursts of rain, and some of them could be quite heavy. For Northern Ireland and the north and west of Scotland, though, it's a different story. We'll see a few showers moving into the Outer Hebrides later on in the night, but with somewhat clearer skies, the southwest portion of Northern Ireland and western areas of inland Scotland could even see a touch of ground frost tonight, down to two or three degrees. For most of the rest of us, that blanket of cloud will keep temperatures at eight to ten. Now, as far as tomorrow is concerned, the low pressure will have slid away a little and wrapped around it, it looks like we're going to see a weather front acting in this sort of uh, region, an arc shape really to it. And the main theme is for that arc shape of cloud, showery rain to move away west and southwards during the day so that uh, during the morning period most of the duller wetter weather will be on these eastern parts of the country with some brightness and sunny spells and just a scattering of showers out in the west but by the end of the afternoon we're more likely to see the showery rain in the west with somewhat drier weather in the east there'll still be a few showers probably near the coast but it should brighten up a little bit for again the northwest of scotland and much of northern ireland slightly different more fine dry weather and only a scattering of showers the temperature's still a bit disappointing for most areas, around 14 degrees, give or take one or two. The wind's not quite as strong, though. Looking through Friday into Saturday, we'll still see some showers, but if anything, I think the worst...